guys, coming at you with another thrift haul today. I'm just getting ready to run into Goodwill and it seems very busy inside. So I don't know if I'm gonna film much. Well, we'll see. It's Tuesday and this is my third Tuesday in a row that I've, <laughs> that I've been going to Goodwill. I didn't go this morning, um, but I made it over here this afternoon. I just have a little bit of time. So I don't know, I like trying to go once a week or so. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if there's anything. I'm still looking for some fall things, maybe some copper, I don't know. We'll just see, some wooden things. I've been collecting some stuff. So I wanna show you guys what I found since I put up the last uh, thrift haul. So we'll see if I find anything else today. actually the next day but I'm finally getting a chance to film this I did not get to film much in the store it was kind of full and I got a couple little clips I uh, actually met up with two church ladies so that was fun so and now I am to the point where I want to show you what I got this has been a collective haul that I've collected since the last thrifted video I did oh a couple months ago I'll have it linked and maybe my playlist or something as well but I love thrifting I love finding good deals so if you're new, my name is Lynette. I am a Mennonite mom. I live in Sarasota, Florida with my family. We're expecting our first little girl. We have two boys, Caden and Jackson. Uh, so we'd love if you would stick around. I do a lot of lifestyle related videos, home and family, and I like to encourage you guys. So let me just start with what I got. I found quite a few home decor items or like home related things. Also some clothing and some shoes. So I'm excited to show you guys what I found. I Let me start off with one item that is not thrifted. This was from a yard sale. It's a Settlers of Catan game. This is Settlers of America. So I just grabbed it because it was like, I don't know, a couple dollars at the yard sale. And we're not big into gaming, but this is actually a game that I enjoy. I haven't played this version of it. But I decided, you know what, we should maybe collect some games, you know, in case we ever want to play games, especially if people come over. So this was a good find, I thought, at the yard sale. I just thought I'd throw that in so you can see that. But, all right, first thing is this pottery vase. I don't know if you guys remember seeing it from the tour in like the family room, but this thing was $2.99 and I just thought it looks really cool. So right now I just have some other stuff in there, a macrame plant hanger, but um, so there's that. And yesterday I found this copper bin. If you know me, you, love, you know I love my copper and they had two of these, but I didn't really need two of them. This one was $4.99 and I'm honestly not really sure what they would have used it for and I almost left it there but I've been looking for some things for fall, so I decided, ah, you know what, I'm gonna get it because, you know, maybe I'm gonna need some copper. So I got that, and yesterday as well, I found some uh, pajamas. These are motherhood maternity ones, so they're actually maternity pants. Normally, I wouldn't even bother with them. I don't know what the difference would be, <laughs> but they looked in really good shape. I, it honestly feels like they haven't even been worn. So this one would have been $3.99 for this pair. They're just like the stretchy knit kind, so they're really comfy. And next I have this really pretty, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> walnut looking bowl. This one was $3.99 and I just thought it was really pretty. When I saw it in the store, I thought I can see fruit in it. I have been using it in the kitchen with you know some fruit and stuff. Uh, also, maybe I can put some pumpkins in here for fall. I just love bringing wooden elements in to my home. So 
that was a good find. On the same trip, I found this wooden bowl as well. And I had also been putting fruit in. This one was $3.99. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice size. And on that trip, I found these beauties. These are like, I don't really know what to describe them. They're kind of like a cement, but they're polished. And they're this like peachy tan color. And these were $5 each, these two were. And then the little one here was $4. So they were a little bit more pricey, but honestly, they're so unique that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get them. There was actually four of them there. And I left just one there. That's kind of mean. <laughs> but I did not need four. And I like grouping things in odd numbers. So I just grabbed the three, I guess that's what thrift stores are for but um so this is what i grabbed i don't know i just love it they look really unique i've never seen some like it i think the one here it says hand carved made in kenya so and on the one sticker i can see that this the, t the actually the middle one would have been twenty dollars and i want to see what this one says here this one would have said twenty dollars as well so they were pretty pricey when they were new Okay, moving on, I also had gotten this pillow a while back and I actually intended to get some other fabric and fill it or like cover it because I just wanted the size of it. But it ended up actually, okay, here's the other side. The one button came off, the boys were playing with it. So it did have two of them, sort of like a, I don't know, I guess a pottery barn pillow maybe. And this one was maybe two or three dollars, but I still haven't done anything with it and generally i just like turn it around and i've been using it in our family room because it has kind of those like rust colors in there and i put it on my one chair so I, I haven't done anything generally when it comes to shoes i rarely ever find some but i found two pairs of sandals these are from walmart they're the time and true brand and these are from target they're universal threads now I've been wearing these a lot since I bought them, so they don't look new anymore. <laughs> but I promise you, they were basically brand new, if not brand new. And I forget what the price was on these, probably four or five dollars maybe, something like that. Um, so I was really happy. These could be just a tad bigger for my feet. I think they're size nine. Uh, they should be just a little bigger, but I'm making them work. I'm like, when do I ever find good sandals at stores, it, rarely. And, you know, living in Florida, I'm constantly wearing sandals, so I grabbed those. One other time, I found this throw here, and I'll probably use it around Christmas time. I don't even know specifically where or what. I'm thinking maybe it would even be something outside. I don't know. It's not necessarily the colors of my house so I'm not sure yet but it honestly it was only $2.99 so I decided I'm just gonna get it just in case I want it and it's not a lot of loss if I don't use it but it's it's just a really pretty flannel throw and now I have a couple of clothing items here's one top I got the other day this is a Como Vintage. I'm not sure what the brand is. Now, I have not quite decided if I'm actually gonna wear it. I think I might, and it fits my belly right now. It's actually a little big, but um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it has a little bit of a patchwork feel to it, and it feels kind of almost vintage. I'm not sure. So let me know <laughs> what you guys think. How should I wear it? Um, is it ugly? What do you guys think? I also found some things for the boys. I don't often find children's clothes, just to be completely honest. And these were in their better section, so they were like $5 maybe. These are Under Armour um, pants for Caden. They're just like the, you know, like the comfy around the house type ones or basketball type wear. And I also got him a sweatshirt, also Under Armour. It doesn't quite match the pants, but close. 
and here we don't need a lot of jackets but he I don't think had a really good like jacket yet and I know that at some time sometimes during the winter you do need jackets here and this is like a rain guard type of thing like I think it's rainproof actually I'm trying to think if this is the kind in the Under Armour but in any case I got him this it's kind of psychedelic but you know they don't really care and Jackson thought he had to have this shirt I uh I mean it's fine <laughs> <laughs> but it's not something I would have picked for him. It is a Puma shirt and he loves Puma stuff for some reason. Doesn't really show Puma much on the outside. He does here a little bit, but anyway, it's slightly big on it, but you know, it's just an everyday shirt. So he wanted that one. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> I rarely find things for Nick. I don't even look every time I go just because he likes to get his own clothes and stuff. And a lot of times if I get stuff, and he can be kind of picky, but I did find him these trunks. They are O'Neill brand. So they were like, I don't know, $4 maybe, whatever they cost in there. And here, we always need swimming trunks. And I think I'm getting down to the last item. And these are actually um, shorts for him as well. They're like the dressy um, shorts. He likes this style. And they're Pack Sun, so they're actually a good brand. So I wasn't sure if he'd actually be able to wear them the size, but he does. And so they're a little bit dressier, and I like that. So I was happy to find those, and I was like, whoa, this is a win. <laughs> they actually fit in both pairs, you know? I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys uh, liked the best. If you have some ideas for me and that sort of thing also if you found some good deals i would love to know tag me on instagram if you are out shopping or if you have something in your home uh, you can follow me there at lynette yoder underscore you can always do that and yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button also comment below that really helps me out so thank you so much guys and i will see you in my next one bye